what does it take to retrain ourselves from basically a contracted condition of any kind into this more expanded state. So in contraction, we have things like anxiety, depression, pain. You know, that's all part of chronic contraction. So what do we need to do to open, to expand? And so, you know, one of the things that we were just practicing in that meditation is first the alternate nostril breathing to try and relax. And we did it for a short time, but you know, when you sit longer, you know, it takes time to still the mind. Like it could take me 25 minutes to still my mind to the point that I'm really still enough. Sometimes even 30 minutes. Sometimes, honest to goodness, sometimes even 45 minutes. I'm still thinking about my work, my children, my house, all things like that. And by 45 minutes, if I persist and I keep just coming back to the present, coming back to the body, eventually, like I've thought about that particular pool of things enough that I can just put them down for the moment and then work on whatever I need to work on you know to change whatever pattern isn't working for me that I would like to expand into something different it just takes training to have the capacity to sit for that length of time and not get too frustrated because it doesn't feel like you're going anywhere you know that's the catch but it, at any stage that you're at, that time you spend getting still, you know, it is retraining your mind and teaching you how to be present. And when you're present, more of you shows up. And you can't both be present and contracted. You know, if you're contracted, you're gonna, your mind will jump in a hundred directions. If you're present, then there's an opening. And in that opening, you allow the body to come back to balance. The body knows how to do this. The problem is that we're in the way. The power of presence is that it facilitates the body and mind coming back into homeostasis. This is what homeopathy does. It, it stimulates the body-mind to realign back to homeostasis because it's become stuck in certain unhealthy patterns, which doesn't feel nice. And we say we have unpleasant symptoms. And so when we can create that stimulation for the body to do what it actually knows how to do. You know, let's say the body knows how to recalibrate and it's doing this all the time, but then suddenly like something very heavy comes on one side, you know, and it doesn't give up. It doesn't relent. At some point, you know, this natural capacity is overloaded. And so this heavy part, it just kind of gives up because it's like, I'm trying, I'm trying, but no. Okay, enough, I can't do it anymore. And then that sinking, that dip, that becomes something that we subsequently call a disease. It isn't that within us, this capacity doesn't exist, it's that we have to remove this load that's so heavy on it that it gave up. And in chronic disease, there's many, many of those loads that are too heavy and many intricate layers of the body-mind saying, I don't know, this feels like a little bit more than I can match.